I'm an MBA student myself. It was a long time ago. I'm not that young. And I, I think it's the part of my career at the moment that I think I need to give back. So I'm, I'm basically trying to help the next generation of marketeers. My name is Chris Siddhartha. I work for Akamai Technologies and I'm responsible for channel marketing in the region. I think what I love about the students here and how we engage is the professionalism. I think, I think NUS students is, a, is very, they can be casual, but they can be formal as well. So I say they're very professional. The other thing that I think is really good is that they're multinational. They really think outside of the box. Let's say, for example, if I need someone um, in the marketing team, for example, then at least I know without interviewing them that these MBA students could be suitable. From, from my perspective, I look for people that basically mature. So self-starter, independent, um, because from an IT industry perspective, one thing that people really look into and people really compare is, is the flexibility. So we're looking at maturity, and the other thing we're looking at is people that is able to connect the dots. So you don't just have to know about marketing, but you also know about sales, you know about technical, but you connect the dots in terms of what you do on a, on a daily basis. We're trying to look for people that have the skills, but are not afraid of learning new skills. From a technicality perspective, of course, you have to know the basic of marketing. That's no brainer, right? That's, that's no question. But then you also have to evolve it according to what you do and according to the people that you deal with in terms of marketing to a segment of people, for example. People start to look into something that is more, well, technically savvy and then they also want to implement it on their daily life. So let's say if you say for us, for example, we're selling cloud solutions. We also have to prove that we'll be able to use it on our daily lives before we'll be able to sell it. There were so many different functional marketing in the past, right? You have marketing communications, you have channel marketing, you have marketing operations, uh, product marketing and all that. I would imagine and I would envision that some of them will basically, what you call that, uh, integrate it together. And you look into different things, but into the same lens, with the same lens, right? And the good example of that is the emergence of startups. If you look into startups, you won't be able to find a field marketer. You won't be able to find a channel marketer. The marketing person there will probably be one or two and he or she would do exactly everything. So that's probably gonna be the future as well. I'm looking into, we're looking into more generalists rather than specialists, but those generalists have to have specialist knowledge. So the advice that I give to the NUS students are basically set your expectations correctly, right? So the first thing is, what is your expectations? Why do you want to move, let's say, into IT industry, for example, or into marketing specifically? Why do you want to do that? The second advice I give is basically look into um, your capabilities and not just job description. Because when you're an MBA, I mean, personally, I use my MBA as a, what you call that, as a fresh start, reset button. Because I used to be in sales and I felt that, hey, I want to do marketing because marketing precedes sales. So MBA is actually a reset button for me. Most of the people probably want to go to either banking, investment banking, or consulting after you graduate from MBA. But for me, I also sometimes pull them back a little bit and make a step back a little bit and say, balance is important because MBA career is not just about career. It's also about you as a person. So my advice for them is that yes, all this are great, but how about your family? How about financially? How about your interactions with other people? And that for me is very important as well on top of what you do um, after you graduate from MBA.